Hello and welcome to English Transformation with me, Paul and Gabrielle. Sorry, I should have introduced you first. And uh, this is the second in our weird English question interview uh, because we loved the first one so much. And uh, hopefully you did too. So, Gabrielle, let's, uh, let's go with some strange questions. Fire away. <laughs> If you were going to date... A cartoon character. Who would you choose? Ooh, cartoon character. They could be from Brazil or an American cartoon or whatever. Um, Up to you. I think. Uh, I think Minnie Mouse come into play. I think it's been pretty, <laughs> you know, um, you know, close to my childhood. What Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, and I think yeah, that would be for a lack of. <laughs> different cartoons to, to pick from. Did you say Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse? Yeah. So bisexual cartoon character. Well, I'm saying Minnie Mouse because I've watched Mickey Mouse. That's <laughs> the name of the cartoon cool. is Mickey cool. Mouse. Got it, got it. <laughs> if all your dreams could be realized, if everything you want to be successful came true, but you would get shorter by one inch every year that this success existed, how many years would you want that success to last? Oh, for my entire life here, yeah, I don't really care. But, but you would shrink by an inch every yeah, year. That's so, okay. That's so okay. in like 40 years, you would <laughs> drop by 40 inches become and be dwarf. as tall as me. Yeah. <laughs> Look, to be honest, if my dreams materialize and they really um, come into fruition. I, I wouldn't really mind being as small as a ant. I think, um, you know, my dreams, at least they are not for me. I think my dreams are for, for, for everyone, you know, for a contribution to society. So I think in the scheme of things, reducing my size by inch every year of my success, that, that wouldn't matter at all. Okay. It would be, be relatively difficult to have a business meeting if you were this big. Well, I don't know if you watch like um, <coughs> down, Downsized or that's yeah, the new one. Yeah, new, yeah. yeah. So the Matt I Damon. That, Matt yeah, Damon. Yeah, movie. yeah. I think that's, that could be a positive side too. <laughs> okay. I could live lavish, a uh, very lavish life with very little money. It yeah, could be true. everything mini size. That would be fine. Cool. <laughs> Now this is a little bit for the both of us. Yeah. If you had a full head of hair, yeah. What hairstyle would you choose? Man, I would throw all crazy styles. I think I would do, you know, different styles all the time. Just, you know, having hair. I remember when I was younger, when I used to have hair, I did so many different things. I, you know, dyed my hair when I was, you know, like probably 13. I used you to have your hair. big, you know, like curly hairs, you know, very hard to surf, you know, hair going, you know, even, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know how you call those. Like afro. Afro, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, could, you know, do that. I, I'm the type of guy that, you know, I like, you know, having different styles and, you know, every day you know have a, a fresh look and things mm -hmm. like that you know so uh, you know i would just go whatever i feel on the day and you know it's stylish <laughs> cool. what, what color did you dye your hair just pure blonde like blonde, super uh, blonde like a proper 30 yeah like crazy yeah <laughs> um do you exercise regularly Look, not as much as I wanted to, especially because surf it plays a big part on my on my you know exercise routine. Um, but I do a lot of stretching, a lot of you know I I'm, I I don't go to the gym. I don't I don't like it's not you know me. But um, you know I try to swim. I try to be active as much as I can. But I think. I do a lot of stretching and yoga, I think that's what keeps me, it's not as active. I like going for long walks as well, that, you know, I do at least three, three times a week. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, you know, um, it's good, it's a good kind of exercise for me. But I, I would like to be more, more active than I am today. Mm -hmm. 
Do you enjoy trips to IKEA? Man, to be honest, it I cannot say that's you know my favorite you know um, you know thing to do in the world. But depend on what I'm going to do. If it's for a fresh new look for my living room and stuff like that, and my wife is pretty excited, I wouldn't mind to to go. But it's not definitely not on top of my you know nice things to do. Especially putting things together from IKEA, I think that's a nightmare. <laughs> Are you good at DIY? Not at all. Not at all. Especially you know. Putting things together, as we, you know, were mentioning before, it's definitely not my strength, and I know that pretty clear. I rather pay people to do things for me when it comes down to this. Mm -hmm. Can you do any accents? No, I'm, I struggle with my pretty much. So really? No, I cannot do accents. Can't do an no. American no. surfer. No, not really. I'm, I'm, I'm good at spotting them, mm. you know, through my listening, but not, you know mimic them mm. I cannot you know put on an accent is that right yeah. just very good at a Brazilian accent yeah yeah and I'm trying to you know make it not as strong but is that right it take, mm. take some time do you care much for lossless audio loss of audio what? lossless audio Lossless. I'm so happy that I found that's that question. something that, that you I don't understand. That's the first one. That's like a point to me. Sorry. Lossless. So MP, yeah, MP3s that loses, yeah. have been compressed and they don't have all the data that the song originally had. Ah. All the, the, the minute sounds. So that's why they're so small. But most people don't care and it, it, it's not bad. But Sony have particular Walkmans that are exactly as it should be and you can get lossless audio because nothing was lost. Oh, I see, I see. Do you care for lossless audio? I think it depends the tune that you, you're listening to and depend what, you know, the apparatus that you have on. If you have a headphone and you really want to be in the zone and you want that, um, the frequency and the vibration of the song to really switch something on, I think you would really care in my in you know i would care but if it's just a casual and you know listening to music like we are right now it, it doesn't really bother me you're probably going to get fined by youtube for the five viewers who watch this because there's some music on in the background uh yeah i think that's for the first one it's pretty fine next one we'll, we'll make sure there's nothing <laughs> going on in the background See we'll we'll muffle it. Hopefully yeah, they won't we'll listen. We'll see to how it. this is gonna turn out. Might have to do take three. We'll maybe, see. maybe. <laughs> Can you do any magic tricks? Not really. Not really. It's disappointing. Yeah, that's disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you had to hunt to feed your family, which animal would you choose to hunt, and how would you try to catch them? Let's say a rabbit or a duck or fish or a bear, or whatever? I think I would go for a chicken. A chicken? Yeah. Okay. And how would you chicken. try to catch it? So first of all, I would definitely limit the area where it can run to. That would be the first thing to do. And I think probably get a, a net or something, just so I don't need to be running around and trying to grab it with my bare hands. You said you would hunt a chicken and confine it to a small area and get a net, right? Yeah. So that's how you would try to feed your family? Well, at least for one day, right? <laughs> yeah. So you'd have to build a fence around the chicken? Well, well, it depends. If the chicken is really on the wild, it would be hard. It would be, take a lot more work, you know, to build a fence around the chicken. I would probably outrun it. That's why I picked the chicken, you know. If it was a, a cow, that would be pretty hard. I wonder if a chicken would get tired quicker than a human running. Because uh, they've only got little legs, haven't they? If I had to feed my family. You could outrun a uh, chicken. For sure. Mm. And outlast it too, for sure. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, and this is the last question, I believe. So it would be fun or editing this together after my mistake of... Uh, 
not deleting files. So be prepared, people. Be prepared. We're free signing. We are. All right. So the last question is, you can invite four people to dinner, real people or fictional characters. Who are they? Maybe Mickey, Ma Minnie Mouse, because <laughs> of your date. Maybe. It doesn't have to be. Um, who would these people be? And what would you serve for dinner? That's a, a big question, because I can, <laughs> I don't know, I would, four people I would bring to dinner. I think it, it really depends on what's, what's the outcome that I want from the dinner that would, you know, allow me to pick them, you know, accordingly. But um, from the top of my head, I would get, you know, people that I've been pretty into, you know, for, for a while now. I would get, you know, Dr. Joe Dispenza, you know, so we could talk about, you know, lots of things that I'm excited about. I'll definitely get um, Greg Braden as well, someone that's, you know, pretty intense with his studies and mm. what he's, you know, putting out there. And I definitely would get, you know, a, a powerful world leader, you know, that would be good. Who, who, who would it be? Uh, I'm thinking here. You can say Trump if you want. Yeah, well, Trump just got impeached. So he's not going to get, yeah, he's not going to get yeah. found guilty or removed from office. Yeah, he? I know, but I don't know if he would resonate with the discussion we would be having at the he dinner table. Not, he might not. Yeah, but I would get you know either you know pretty strong world leaders, uh, not because of what they're doing, but just because of you know the power that they have and the power. Of, give give you know, me they give me a name. I'd say either. Putin or either the you know um, president of China, Xi, Xi, Xi I don't know, Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping, yeah, I forgot his name, but um, yeah, probably one of them would be there to listen and, and take notes. So and Joe Dispenza, yeah, Greg Braden, yeah, Putin or Xi Jinping, yeah, yeah, and, and then, one more. Ah, uh, oh yeah, one more. Uh, I would chuck um, Bruce Lipton. To sleep in there as well, like where he's, you know. Those three are all quite similar, aren't they? Yeah, but I think one, each one of them bring a different layer of mm. information, and once they all come together, we could tie, you know, this, you know, the the subject that we would be discussing. Do you, you think know, Putin well. or Xi Jinping, if that's how we pronounce his name? Yeah. Do they speak English very well? Do you think? Ah. Definitely, I'm pretty sure they they, they do. They might choose be a not bit to un, speak. It'd be a bit unfair if you were speaking to these Americans, and I mm. reckon they might not come because there are three Americans invited. Mm. Then, it is hypothetical. So. Yeah, putting it aside, I think you know. Then, if I could, you know, break, you know, any time in history, then I would get, you know, some Nikola Tesla. I would get, you know. Um, Again, like Mr. Fuller. Do you think Nikola Tesla would be a little bit jealous of Elon Musk having a Tesla car company? So I, that, I thought of that. That was my idea. Ah, I you think stole he, my I, name. I, I think he would be proud, to be honest. I, I, I don't think when, you know, people that are at that level of, you know... Consciousness. Consciousness and, and the genius type of, you know, frequency he was downloading and bringing here to us, I think... It's not really about himself or he, him getting all the accolation for, for you know, his things. But look, I, I would be very proud if I was him to have someone now in this point in time being able to represent all the ideas that I had brought to the table mm -hmm. back in my time and having someone really creating a big impact in, in the way that, you know, we are moving forward as a society. And I think that there's nothing short to be, you know, super proud of mm -hmm. and, you know, planting the seed for guys like Elon Musk to come now and, and be able to implement in a big way, you know what I mean? And I think time is ripe right now and that's why he's being able to, to make the, the, you know, the impact that he's being able to do. Maybe back then we would not be able to, to do it and that's why we did not. Fantastic. Thank you very much.